questions? My dear colleagues, thanks uh, to my colleagues from St. Petersburg and Kulfia uh, Mirhanovna. And I, well, I really would like to thank her because uh, she made my presentation somewhat easy and she spoke about some statistics, spoke about pathogenesis and some other aspects that uh, I was planning to describe. So I'm going to leave this out. But I must say that the malignant tumors in the uh, intestinal area, this is widely spread problem, which very often leads to death. And if we take surgery, then as we understand today, surgery is insufficient because the indicators of five-year survival are is not satisfactory, and chemotherapy by itself doesn't give much. And after the first line, we very often observe progression. Uh, lately, we appeared a chance to use two target uh, um, drugs, but there is another option, immune therapy, which became possible since 2017 when pembrolizumab was approved uh, in the United States and uh, another drug in Japan. So in spite of all of that, we are not satisfied with the results of treatment we have for these patients. I'm not going to speak about some academic issues here. Allow me to say that the esophageal um, uh, cancer is mostly squamous, and uh, uh, as for the junction and the gastric cancer, mostly adenocarcinoma. The symptoms are quite well known. Um, almost half of the patients uh, uh, have advanced stage of the disease, and that is very important to remember, since almost 60% of Asians uh, have a reg uh, damage to regional um, uh, lymph nodes and distant uh, damages, and uh, uh, with the esophageal cancer, the situation is no better. Almost 50% are diagnosed at the later stages, and less than 60% of patients uh, um, undergo surgery and 70 to 80 percent of patients have uh, um, uh, damaged uh, regional lymph nodes. What can we say about the purpose of therapy? If it is a local um, uh, stage, uh, then uh, the five-year survival is 65 percent for gastric cancer and uh, 47 for esophageal cancer. And the main purpose here is to treat the patient and to radically um, resect the tumor. As for the patients with metastasis in the lymph nodes, we can see that the five-year survival is much lower. And uh, here, of course, we uh, have to use a different tactics. Uh, palliative maintenance is important. Uh, we also need to think about survival and the control of the disease for as long as possible. If there are distant metastases, then the five-year um, survival is just 5%, and the purposes of treatment here are mostly associated with palliative care. A decrease of the symptoms and the quality of life are in the focus of attention. A well-known slide which presents the a frequency of somatic mutations in the exome in the uh, couple's uh, the normal uh, tissue a tumor. You can see the gastric uh, uh, cancer is not number one, but not the, the last one in this line. So we always uh, need to think whether immune therapy is possible or not. Let's remember that uh, the first, uh, the, the main mechanisms that make it possible to avoid uh, the, um, uh, uh, the, uh, the the problem, then the, the involve the cells and uh, molecules of immune suppression. There's the problem with the expression, with the inhibition, and uh, the. Um, the, all this leads to the violation of the function of the involvement of the dendrite cells and lowers the priming and inhibition of the proliferation of T cells and the function of uh, um, uh, the um, and so uh, there is um, a problem of the connection between the uh, malignant process, the cancer, and the immune system. Within, with 60% of patients, the expression of PDL 
um, correlates with the um, dissemination, with the involvement of lymph nodes and the survival rate. Now, we should also say that hyper expression of PDL is uh, correlated with other markers of immune suppression, um, uh, with um, PD3 and uh, um, B some expression as. Uh, H7. So uh, the uh, positive uh, and gastroesophageal uh, junction um, uh, cancers have um, um, quite a, a larger number of uh, these cells as compared to other uh, variants. And uh, so the results of the treatment uh, um, and they can be improved uh, with the um, certain approaches. And, the, and then one other thing. The um, uh, we discovered uh, quite a lot of uh, tumor-associated macrophages uh, which suppress the immunological activity of cells. And uh, so we're talking here about a well-known marker expression of uh, PDL1, and we were able to establish with standard therapy PDL expression um, is associated with poor uh, prognosis, and we can see the survival uh, for patients with gastric and esophageal cancer, and uh, it's all uh, well illustrated. We have incubators checkpoint, and these can be used for our patients. Uh, we are all very well familiar with them. As for anti-PDL antibody, now these are examined mostly in combination as well as uh, anti-PDL4, uh, anti-CT4. Uh, and most of the clinical studies of the third um, phase of immunotherapy with immune therapy are represented here. We will touch upon all of those in, except uh, except for tubal and gastric because uh, um, in this case, nivolumab did not increase the survival rate, so it is not being used in therapy. But if we take the first and the second phases, we can say that on the average, the overall effect with PDL with low status, uh, less than 1, and CPS less, uh, lower than 1 or lower than 10, does not give us uh, very good results. The frequency here is from 6 to 12 percent. And uh, um, there's a very different type of results if these indicators are uh, uh, over 1 and the CPS is more than 10. So the numbers change. It's 14 and uh, uh, 30 percent. And the overall survival is also different from 22 to 45 months. Now, let's speak about immune therapy of um, esophagus. In my presentation, I would like to announce a study that was registered um, and uh, the results of which were registered this year in June. Um, and uh, approved by FDA. This uh, trial is attraction three, and uh, uh, this was carried out with the participation of patients with esophageal cancer after progression um, uh, with chemotherapy, as were well non resectable patients uh, with um, re uh, refractory to chemotherapy, first line chemotherapy, and uh, uh, progression or had intolerance of uh, uh, different um, uh, drugs. So Sil and platinum, and they were divided into two arms, and uh, the uh, nivolumab was uh, studied uh, with fixed dose, 240 milligrams uh, in two weeks, uh, every two weeks, and uh, the comparison was a group of patients who were getting uh, uh, toxins, and uh, the uh, do uh, um, and uh, the patients were observed and they examined the uh, tolerance and the intolerance, and the main purpose was to understand what the survival, overall survival would be. And the overall survival statistically was reliable, reliably better in the group of patients who were getting nivolumab. And it was also uh, considered that the risk of death redu was reduced by 23 percent, and the median of overall survival was 10 months as compared to eight in the control group, and uh, was um, um, obviously different from that group. And the group subgroup analysis also uh, manifested preferences and advantages here, and of course the patients who had been receiving the uh, ra radiotherapy uh, and um, uh, perisurgical uh, therapy, how they would react. And the expression did not have any meaning here because both groups um, gained uh, from the point of view of survival. 
To return to uh, another important thing here was the frequency and duration of response. It was going to with the similar uh, uh, frequency with nivolumab. The response is twice longer, and these curves illustrate that. Another interesting um, um, uh, uh, trial, uh, Keynote 181, pembrolizumab, again in the second line of uh, patient treatment. And this uh, drug uh, was also compared uh, with Taxans and uh, um, Irina Tekan. It was discovered that in the overall population, the survival did not uh, differ that much from control. But as for the patients with squamous uh, Um, cancer or high CPS over 10. Uh, here, the, again, the, there was a gain. There was an advantage. Uh, um, and they were planning uh, the Uh, 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 ex- examination of the uh, adjuvant uh, um, therapy and no adjuvant, adjuvant therapy after the um, uh, um, uh, pre-surgical uh, treatment and uh, the, the first line uh, therapy for the esophageal cancer with different combinations, nivolumab and plus epilimumab, combination of nivolumab with chemotherapy and uh, a three uh, uh, DR chemotherapy comparison with that. Let's wait for the results of this particular uh, study, and then we will be able to expand our approaches. As for the molecular subtypes of the gastric uh, cancer, Gulfia spoke about this in detail. I quite agree that the patients who have associated um, uh, with virus Epstein bar uh, subtype and high uh, microsatellite instability um, uh, a pro- uh, very good for immune therapy but uh, patients with unstable genome with chromosome instability rather um, to a certain extent can be also uh, regarded uh, for the uh, selection for the option clinically important biomarkers for gastric and esophageal um, um, cancer and for junction cancer well known to us. I'm not going to describe them. Just let me say that when we have patients who have gastric uh, 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 cancer, it's endoscopic resection, surgery, um, um, pre-surgical treatment, um, uh, chemo uh, radio, and uh, uh, the use of uh, uh, different drugs uh, with the esophageal Uh, cancer. We should remember that there are three types of uh, uh, cancer following the third classific- uh, classification, and the second and the uh, first types require treatment as the esophageal cancer, and the third subtype of the tumor, which is located in the cardiac uh, uh, area of the stomach, they are uh, to be treated as the um, gastric cancer, and the attraction to a trial which makes it possible for us to assess uh, the nivolumab uh, treatment with patients who had a good uh, pre uh, uh, preliminary trial the patients had good status and nivolumab was used at uh, three um, milligrams per kilogram once in two weeks so we Compare it, uh, compared it to placebo and first of all assessed the um, survival rate and there were other criteria which made it possible to assess the efficacy. And we were able to show that uh, in this group of patients, uh, 40% was against 25% uh, in the control group. Now, the overall survival was uh, very important. The median of overall survival uh, is probably different from the control group, and we can see here the results of the three-year survival, uh, which were difficult to imagine. It was difficult to, uh, to, to imagine we would discuss with that particular um, situation on third line uh, with the highly, highly, hardly uh, sensitive uh, tumor. And the overall survival was um, um, quite long. And uh, for clinicists of importance was the possibility to predict the, um, the PDL status. Uh, but when we look at the patients uh, the, with preliminary treatment, then of course this probably doesn't have such a significant uh, meaning because we can see that the curves of survival, depending on the PDL status, uh, were not significant. They increased in both groups. They went up. 
Now, Checkmate uh, uh, 32 makes it possible to speak about the immune therapy for patients of the European population. And here, nivolumab was uh, discussed in the same dose, three milligrams uh, per kilo. And there was also an arm with combined immune therapy, nivolumab and pilobab, and in two in two varieties of doses. Nivolumab is effective for gastric cancer and for junction cancer, uh, which were resistant to chemotherapy. And it was interesting to see that the patients who had MSI high, um, uh, um, uh, high level of uh, 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 stability, microsatellite stability uh, showed higher results. But those patients who did not have high level of uh, MSI uh, had uh, responses that were uh, longer. In clinical practice, both patients, are, both types of patients are important. So this particular option of treatment can be used for patients irrespective of MSA high status. And uh, another um, aspect I would like to mention, the objective effects and control over the and the maintenance of the disease European by the European um, um, experts and medical doctors with this uh, um, um, early uh, treatment of this anamnesis survival. Um, is uh, the rate 1.5 years is about 30 percent. These um, quite recently we had a patient uh, who, uh, who was to go through immune therapy with gastro cancer because she was in a good state as a young woman, and well, of course we wanted to work with her. Now she goes through treatment, and uh, she um, uh, gets nivolumab. Another option for patients in the situation is pembrolizumab in the second line, and uh, Keynote 61 uh, demonstrated the possibility of using it as compared uh, to um, uh, chemotherapy. And in the group CPS1, uh, we were able to see that we can note the overall survival um, uh, improved in any way. But as for the patients with high CPS, uh, higher than 10, then the overall survival uh, was uh, much higher. The median. Um, for these patients with pembrolizumab was uh, over 10 months as compared to Reprocil with uh, the, the chemotherapy. Um, another uh, pembrolizumab associated trial, uh, KN62, again chemotherapy uh, in combination with chemotherapy and the control group is also chemotherapy. In the first line, the overall survival pembrolizumab gives uh, the results that are no worse than chemotherapy. Uh, is that satisfactory for us? After all, the price of the cost is also important. But if we look at the CPS over 10, then we can get the improvement of uh, survival. That if the combination of pembrolizumab with chemotherapy, then uh, in this particular combination, in this particular trial, we were not able to see the improvement of the results overall survival, um, uh, re relapse three, and the overall survival of the CPS over 10. One more point, adverse events of chemotherapy. We shall say that here we can see if we compare uh, parents of adverse events, hematological, non-hematological toxicity of the immune therapy and chemotherapy. We can see how the, how the data are different as to the incidence rate and uh, symptoms. Once again, it's for the immunotherapy to patients with an advanced uh, gastric cancer and uh, pretreated. If there are adverse events, usually they occur in the first three months. And it's interesting to point out and the attraction to the overall survival with the adverse events tend out to be higher. The quality of life of patients uh, Uh, was studied in Keynote 062. It was found out uh, that uh, the quality of life improved uh, due to the reduction of symptoms, namely diarrhea, nausea, uh, pain relief, and uh, improvement in the appetite. In the prospect, uh, we should take into account immunomodulating chemotherapy the use of immunotherapy together with the chemotherapy. Some medications, it was found out that we use as cytostatics, uh, they are targeted at immunosuppressive cells. But some medications, they have a direct uh, effect on immunoeffectors. 
it was found out uh, that the dosing of medication and low dose regimen uh, triggers anti antigenetic immunomodulating effect. Some immunomodulators they may enhance immunomodulating uh, property of the tumor and we can trigger immunostimulated signals. Microbiome, gut microbiome plays important role in the immune responses if you want to consider this type of treatment. Attraction for that enrolled patients in the first line it was a combination of the immune therapy, nevolumab plus chemotherapy, SOX or Capiox. And these two chemo regimens were compared. It was shown out that uh, the frequency of the overall response is different. We can see that uh, the overall response is ORR 90%. The full response is possible and control 86% and 82 control over disease and progression free survival 9.7 months. Safety profile shows that these patients they have low uh, a low dis uh, discontinuation rate of the therapy. Now, in the future, uh, the trials are going on patients of the first line of the therapy of the gastric cancer and gastric esophageal junction. Mostly, we consider combination nivolumab, anti-CTL4 and nivolumab. Also, we consider chemotherapy with nivolumab. And also, we want to know how it will be in comparison with the standardized chemo regime. Adjuvant therapy postoperatively, the use of nevolumab uh, with the chemotherapy. And it's an interesting point. Uh, the patients uh, with the virus associated tumors, where we can combine nevolumab plus pemolumab. Pembrolizumab is considered as a choice of treatment for patients with the HER2 zero advanced cancer, gastric cancer and uh, gastroesophageal junction in neoadjuvant treatment. These trials, uh, they may consider to use this with the chemotherapy. About uh, tailored therapy, uh, in 2019 in Oscar, it was presented at the trial uh, that uh, showed uh, transsuzumab, pembrolizumab plus chemotherapy combination. And near, and all the patients, uh, uh, they had the control over the disease. It's a rare situation. We were inspired by this to treat these difficult patients. To save time, I'm not going to talk about in details uh, the tailored, about the prospects of tailored therapy. I'd like to say that it's very relevant and uh, work has been do done in this. In case of esophageal cancer, in the second line, we can use immunotherapy, increasing overall survival rate. In case of metastatic gastric cancer, may improve uh, the middle of overall response and duration of the overall response. Also, we should think about PDL1, CPS more than 10, and MSI high. At uh, later stages of treatment, we can uh, achieve effect prospects that we of treatment that we have been talking about considering new trials i'm not going to speak about them in details thank you for your attention